career in male modeling to make Mobile, Alabama a dope hub for the Deep South and is also a prime suspect in the hit on Honeycomb Brazy's grandparents last year. Five months after the horrific killing of an elderly couple in Mobile's Happy Hill community, Mobile police have yet to make an arrest. The investigation has centered on a reputed drug kingpin, officially now a person of interest in these homicides. Now, all jokes aside, Honeycomb Brazy himself referred to uh, Darren Southall, a.k.a. Dee Dee, as having put bricks on his head and called him the biggest snitch in the city on an IG post, and uh, this the police kind of uh, referenced that as well. Dee Dee Southall has been making the news in South Alabama for a while. Here's a news story from 2012, quote, Police are searching for Darren Southall and expect to charge him with attempted murder in a shooting that occurred this morning at Cozy Brown's Kitchen on St. Stephen's Road, Chief Jimmy Gardner said during a news conference. Chief of Police said that Southall, who was 33 years old at the time, and a girl were sitting at a table in a restaurant when a second guy came in, saw the couple, and started beating on uh, Darren Southall right in the restaurant. Southall... Fire, uh, followed him outside and shot him. He didn't kill him, though. Now, Dee Dee Southall went to federal prison at some point after this. I don't know if it was for that shooting, which sounds like a state crime, unless they gave him federal felon in possession of a firearm. But either way, he was out by 2015. By 2016, the feds alleged he was rocking and rolling with the narcos from south of the border. Maybe someone he met in prison. And just as Dee Dee was building up his bankroll and war chest, Honeycomb Brazy made the mistake of getting violent with Dee Dee's family member uh, in Mobile. Now, the Mobile police have called Darren Southall a person of interest in the deaths of Tony and Leela Lewis, Honeycomb Brazy's grandparents. According to law enforcement authorities, Someone, hitman, uh, I guess, fired into their home and, uh, and, and, and the house caught on fire and burned down after that. 